Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to add a basic text spinner to your Android app. So I've just created a new project here and I'm going to jump to our layout page first and I'm just going to grab a spinner and drop it here and I just want to set the size of this to 150 dp and I'm going to center it in the middle of the screen. So after that we can jump to our res folder and we're going to go into our values package and open up strings.xml. So in here we can actually create an array of items that we want to show in our text spinner. So let's say string array and I'm going to call it locations and we'll create a few items to go in here. And once we're finished that we can jump back to our main activity so we can get started on the code. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create a private spinner and um, we'll just call that spinner for now. So let's come down into our onCreate method and I'm just going to double check what ID we gave to our spinner. So it's spinner2. Then we can come back here and we're going to say find view by ID and r.id.spinner2. So now we have our spinner set up. We can create an array adapter which is going to be used to populate the text in our spinner. So to do that we can say array adapter car sequence. I'm just going to name it adapter for now. And then we want to say dot create from resource. And this method requires three parameters. So we need to pass in our context. After that we need to pass in the array that we made. And then the final thing to pass in is our layout. So we're going to say android.r.layout. And we're looking for a simple spinner item here. So it should come up in this drop down list. And once that's done, we can actually set the resources for our spinner. So let's say adapter dot. And what we're looking for is set drop down view resources here. And then we're going to say Android or dot layout. And we're looking for simple spinner drop down item. After that, we can say spinner dot set adapter. And we're going to pass in our adapter object here. Then we need to set a listener to check whether or not uh, one of the items in the spinner has changed. So we're going to use set on item selected listener. Then we're just going to click this bulb over here and make our main activity implement that class and just hit OK. So we should get two new methods here. So it should be on item selected and on nothing selected. But we're going to use the on item selected method. So in here we need to create a string which is going to hold the text of the choice that the user clicked on. So we can use the get item at position and pass in i here. And once we have that, we can create a toast message that prints out uh, this string. So we can say make text. We need to get the application context first, then pass in our string. And then specify how long we want the toast to show first. So we're just going to say length long dot show. So that's pretty much it for the code. Let's just hit run here. And as you can see, the app shows London and London comes up on the bottom of the screen. So let's just try out some of these other ones. So it all seems to be working fine here. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe.